Insta 360's next action cam just leaked, and it's not to go for. It's called the Insta 360 Go Ultra, and thanks to fresh images from Android headlines, we now have a very real look at what's coming next. And yeah, there's a surprising reason why Insta 360 skipped the number four. In Chinese culture, the number four sounds eerily close to the word for death, which is basically a branding nightmare. So instead of risking it, Insta360 went with Ultra, and honestly, it sounds cooler anyway. But what really matters here is what's changing under the hood. First up, design. Compared to the Go 3S, the Go Ultra is thicker, no question, but still tiny by action cam standards. From a distance, it kind of looks like a premium lapel mic. But don't let the size fool you. You're still getting that slick modular design, which means you can pop the camera out of the housing and stick it to your helmet, your backpack, your shirt, wherever your adventure takes you. The flip-up screen is back, too. A lifesaver if you're vlogging or just want to frame your shots on the move. One subtle but smart tweak. The camera is now square, not rectangular. It might sound minor, but this could mean better grip, easier mounts, and more room inside for upgraded hardware, especially the sensor or battery. Now let's talk specs, at least what we know so far. The Go Ultra will shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. That's a big step up from the Go 3S which was capped at 30 frames per second in 4K. Smoother motion, cleaner slow-mo, creators are gonna love that. And here's a clever little detail. They've added recording indicator lights on both the camera and screen. So if you're riding with it clipped to your chest, people around you will know when it's recording, great for transparency, even better for vlogging. We still don't have confirmed details on sensor size, battery capacity, or exact dimensions. But considering the category, we're expecting the usual, water-resistant, dustproof, and built to survive actual adventure. The leaks confirm it'll come in both black and white. And with IFA just weeks away, an official launch could hit by late August or early September. So if you're into tiny action cams with serious upgrades, the Go Ultra might be worth keeping an eye on. This thing looks like a strong step forward, especially for creators who want GoPro-level footage in a smaller, smarter form factor. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the full breakdown.